everybody! So today is my birthday and I am actually 23 today so I thought I'd carry on the 23 vibe and like everyone's done sort of their goals and resolutions for 2017 but I just thought I'd do sort of like 23 things that I kind of want to work towards like being 23 and what I kind of like habits I want to break and work on and things like that rather than sort of just be like oh yeah I just you know want to eat better or whatever um because they're quite common so I've kind of like tried to pick things that are more associated with me than just like the general you know resolutions um so here we go number uno um is definitely uh, another book um I'm lucky enough to have like shield crest already on board um, with another book so that's great I'm like I'm really looking forward to it um, obviously it's going to be about travel I've sort of already started my research and getting into it um, I get too excited like more cooking um, yeah um, I can't wait but definitely on the cards and you know after the fun that we had going down route 66 and you know what came of United Taste of America it's it's just so exciting to be able to have the opportunity to be able to do another one basically so that's definitely on the cards and something I'm definitely working towards this year. Um, number two is hopefully to do more videos and um, just basically do more like food associated videos like cooking ones as well as like a bit more about me and obviously my travel ones like you know what I'm like everywhere I go I sort of document um, because it's, it's, it's not just sort of you know good to show people and help, help spread the word but it, it also is like creating memories as well to keep um, you know we just don't know what's around the corner so I think you should try and capture as much as you can um, number three is do more things that I'm sort of like fearful of um, I'm not like the most like action-packed person I'm quite like calm and um, sort of conservative so I kind of like want to push myself a little bit um, <laughs> like Matthew will laugh at me because I sit there and I'm like yeah let's try and do go ape and all this and he's like you've got a fear of heights and yeah I do but I, th I think like you should challenge yourself a little bit sometimes because like I said like life's short and why not? I mean, <laughs> you might actually love it um, and it might remove that fear. So it might actually help you in the long run. Um, number four is sort of more family time. Obviously, um, I live like in my own house by myself and like I, I love traveling with family and I love like spending time with them and everything. But I think it's, it's gonna be so much more important to kind of get everyone together and do more things together and um, even if it's just like simple things you know like playing a board game or and um, just going for a drink or whatever and um, because like I said like life short and I think 2016 not just like with all the celebrities that passed I mean there was 38 in total I believe and um, but you know personally like a lot of people around me were sort of suffering from losses and things like that and it just proves that we can't take anything for granted so that's a, that's a big one really for me um, five is use my weekends wisely um, I think because I work from home I think that weekends should still like sort of be busy like I don't really like being sat around um, at weekends but at the same time sometimes I don't give myself a break like I I don't have a day off, I don't, you know, I think, oh yeah, we need to go here because we need to get new videos or we need to try this restaurant or I need to block this and I think like, especially like some weekends it's my time to spend with family and, and friends that are, are also available and that aren't available during the week and um, so I need to sort of manage my time a little bit better and maybe, you know, if I want to blog, maybe, you know, try and do it in the morning or and, and actually go out and actually do something rather than missing out and just 
focusing on having to vlog, having to do this. I don't like need to do that at the weekends. I should, you know, go shopping or enjoy a coffee or something. If, you know, sort of someone reaches out to me and wants to do that. Um, six is travel. Everyone knows I love travelling and definitely want to do more. I, I don't think you can sort of have enough of it in your life. Once you get the travel book, you have the travel book, I think, for, for the rest of your life. And um, like, like I've said before, I, I do really think it's a good way of learning so much through different cultures and how different people live. So lots more on the cards. Um, seven is kind of, I, I have put like push myself and the fact that like obviously I suffer from anxiety and sometimes um, situations make me anxious and I overthink things. I should just kind of just be like a bull in the china shop kind of thing and just go with it and um, not overthink it. It's like, it's so hard though, I, I, I can't explain but that's why it should be a goal and um, something to work towards. So seven. Um, number eight is to make sure I at least have one day off a week. Um, I, because I work from home I just think basically that, I don't know, I just, I don't really think I deserve a, a day off. Like I'm at home so why would I want, you know. Um, but I'm always busy, like I always have a list a mile long and I forget that, you know, I do have a house to clean on my own, I do have to cook, I do have to sort of go shopping, I do have to vlog, and, you know, my list is long and I, I don't sort of sit around, I li like at night, yeah, I, I chill out at night and whatever, um, but I'm always busy, like, I'm not, well, I feel guilty when I'm not busy, that's why I don't have a day off, um, but I, I really need to give myself a day off because everyone knows like, I, I don't really sleep. So I get tired very quickly and obviously that, that's going to affect the rest of my week and also, you know, the work that I do do because it's not going to be as effective um, and I know this, I know this deep down but it's just putting it into practice so that's why it's another goal. Um, number nine is if I need time I should take it so if I have had a bad night and I've been up all night and I've got a list of how long but it's not really essential maybe I should just like take two hours out rather than do what I think I should be doing um, I do struggle like with feeling guilty if I've not done everything on my list and I'm one of these people that has a list longer than the hours of the day so um, I think that I need to accept that um, Sometimes it's better just to take time out rather than push through. <laughs> um, so that that's that's something to work towards. Um, and then obviously ten, I've kind of like I put more me time. So it's I don't know. I always put everyone else first, and I, I forget about me, and that's fine. Like I'm just like oh I don't really care about me. But um, when it comes to health and well-being in myself it's not the best way to be sometimes um, and I, I can't let it be seen to, for me to be self like in, within myself to see it as being selfish it's not being selfish I'm just you know if, if a friend was giving me advice and or whatever I'd be like yeah 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 or like I'd advise them to take me time um, if they were in the same situation so I should take <laughs> which I'm not very good at. Um, 11 is friends, so spend as much time with friends as I can. Um, I think that's very, very important. Um, especially, like, a lot of my close friends aren't around all the time, they're very busy. Well, everyone's very busy, I know, life's busy. Um, but, you know, they're away, they're not, they're not always around here either anymore, like, we're all spread out, and I think this it's the same for everybody really, everyone's got friends everywhere and I think it's important if you've got the time, make the time, even if it's just a quick coffee or whether it's dinner out, if they're around just kind of, I'm not saying like reorganise the day but you know make the effort, if it, well if they're making the effort as well obviously. Um, 12 is 
let other, others make the effort um, sometimes. Um, I do love organising, I love planning and it's always me that has to sort of host or organise or think of ideas of what to do and it's stressful and it doesn't help my anxiety levels at all um, so it would be I think that's why I love surprises because I'm just like oh my god someone's done something for me for once um, and I didn't know and I, I could, didn't have to build up that anxiety beforehand it was just kind of there um, so that would be lovely if like, people came to me and was like oh do you know do you fancy going trying this new place uh, to eat today and, or I, th I thought we could do this instead of coming to me and being like what shall we do? Like, I want, I want to see you, but what can we do? Um, because then, you know, I'm thinking of like trying to think of ideas, or I'm like, oh, where's best to go? Where's, where's in the middle of us? And I'm willing to do it sometimes, but not all the time. Um, number thirteen is pace myself. Um, I'm kind of a person who feels if they don't feel pain. I've not done enough or I've not pushed myself enough. I think that's why like often my pain gets very very unbearable and um, I just don't really, I don't know, I just always go way too far like over the top um, and I think that's just like the athlete in me just pushing myself and wanting to better myself um, and trying to be a strong person really um, and trying gain strength, I, that, that's the way I've kind of thought that that was sort of like the best way to gain strength was to push myself and grow more kind of thing. Um, but I need to learn that we can't go 100 miles an hour all the time. Um, I do need a break. <laughs> you know a lot of these goals are like about slowing down I know but it's kind of a big problem in my life so that's why. Um, 14. So I've put like, don't do things to please others. This this sounds really selfish, but again, it's a, a bit about me putting others before myself. And it's it's lovely to do that, and I will never stop doing that. Um, but sometimes, you know, they expect me to drop everything, or I do an activity for them, and it's not like really appreciated. And then I sort of come away. I don't know, you feel like, you know, you're exhausted and you've used that energy, but it's not made you happy. Um, and when they're not thankful for it, it's like, why have you done it? So I think um, it's kind of evaluating what you do and don't do. And if you're gonna gain happiness for it, because again, it's your life, so, you know. And I, I think, well, it follows on to point number 15, actually, because I've put, if it doesn't make you happy, why are you doing it? <laughs> it, you know, Frank Sinatra yeah. said, we only get one life, but if you if you do it right, what like once is enough. And so, if something's making me unhappy, why am I doing it? And I feel like I do it a lot. I, you know, sometimes I come back and I'm just like, oh, why did I do that? Like, we don't have time to waste anymore. Um, so yeah, so evaluate the situation better and make sure that it makes me happy. Um, 16, I really want to do more to support um, Allergy UK. With everything that's just gone on recently, you probably all checked the news recently about Megan dying from um, an allergic reaction. More needs to be done. Um, I went to the Allergy UK sort of like, well, I don't know, it, it was kind of like, it had all the stalls and things for, for like companies um, that work with, within the allergy sort of industry and Allergy UK were there and they were kind of like, we're, you know, we, we're new to all this, we've got a new website, we're doing this and that. And it's good that they're new and everything, but obviously it's a growing problem and they need to get up to speed quickly and also spread the word quicker because as you can see um, it's really causing a problem within our society and we can't let it get anywhere so I would like to do more with them and help them and um, whether it's like raising money or doing 
bits and pieces um, because we're stronger together basically. Um, so yeah, so again that falls on to sort of number 17 about spreading more awareness. So whatever I can do I'll try and spread more awareness. Um, obviously I do my blog most days, um, anything that I come across um, I try and sort of do my research into it and just spread the word and, and hopefully help you guys a little bit more. Um, 18, searching and researching and learning and just gaining more knowledge. Knowledge is power and I never think we can stop learning. There's always new things, always new laws, always new legislation um, and we've got to keep on top of it and you know, it's, it is important, it's very very important. So. Even if you think you're a know-it-all, and I know someone who does think they're a know-it-all, and they know who they are, you, you can never, you can never have enough knowledge. I do believe. Okay, so 19 is sort of like plan better. So plan my weeks better. So actually sit down at the start of the week. Um, my brother Alex actually he got me like a sort of like a this week's diary. So I've got a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, etc. for my office. Um, to help me, you know, with this, um, because I, I try and cram too much in, or there's like one day where I just, it's like so full on that I knock myself back and I'm tired for like the rest of the week and that's silly. Um, so this way we can write tasks out and sort of pace ourselves a little bit better. Um, 20 is to practice gratitude, so even if there's days where you feel rubbish and um, we should think of something like even if it's just one thing that we're grateful for and um, just to sort of remind us and sort of motivate us for the day because some days you don't really want to do much but you know we are very lucky to, to be where we are and, um, and have a life to live so we need to be thankful for that. 21 law of attraction and um, a lot of people have been talking about this and how it's helped their lives and um, like sort of working with this so um, at the moment I'm reading a couple of books on it just to sort of gain some knowledge um, but yeah it seems to have worked for a lot of people especially with people with like anxiety and stress problems again it's, it's sort of like what you're grateful for and the vibe you give out you know you're gonna get back so I, I, I do strongly believe that in some days it is hard to motivate ourselves but we have to bounce back and there is a purpose and we've got to find that purpose so I'm working towards that. Um, 22 if I want to do something do it I am the worst at this I will think oh you know I really want to go to this restaurant or I really fancy going here for a weekend and then like I'll ask a friend and they'll be like, oh no, I don't fancy that. Or, oh, that's a bit far. Or, no, it was not really the time of year. And it's kind of like, but, the, but then I don't go and like I don't look into it anymore. And, and they like, like I miss the, you know, opportunity to do it. And life's too short and I really should just be like, right, I've got my own or whatever. Um, because there's a number of times where I've like missed things or not done things. Um, because other people didn't fancy it, and it shouldn't be the case really, so I need to do that. And then 23 is I put like be kinder to myself. Um, I'm very self critical, um, I expect myself to work at 100 miles an hour 100% of the time, never get tired, never burn out, be able to do everything. Um, and you see, my mum's like superwoman. <laughs> she seems to be able to do everything um, and I sort of like look up to her because she is a bit of my idol so I see her doing it and I expect myself to do it and I've got to realise that I have chronic pain and insomnia and I have to take all that into consideration obviously with my battles with food allergies too that also makes it difficult um, so what I'm doing I need to appreciate I'm doing quite a lot for it I am doing and um, I need to be kinder to myself. So 
those are my 23 sort of like goals. I know that some of them do like roll into each other and kind of match up a little bit, but I think it kind of shows that those are the main things that I need to work on this year. Some of them I would say personally are quite selfish, but um, I need to sort of learn to be a little bit more selfish because I hate, I, I hate being selfish but it's not benefiting me and 2016 showed me that life is short and I've got to live the life that I want to live, find happiness in whatever I'm doing and you know, you, well you know we, we only get one chance at this so I think it's really important and that's why I'm trying to push towards it so we'll see where we get with these. Um, Obviously, let me know what your sort of goals are for this year or whether you're in a similar situation as me, you suffer from anxiety or maybe you suffer with food allergies um, and you've got goals of your own that you want to work towards, just sort of like let me know. So yeah, so thank you for watching and may have another video for you soon. See you later.